I'm at Redmond Caves. It's a reasonably sunny day. So I just finished exploring K5 and K4. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take the trail up here to the entrance to K3. You'll notice K3 branches out. It, one way goes to another entrance called K1. And then of course it goes back this other way to the other cave. So what I think I'm gonna do, I'll just make the full loop like this or something. That way I get every spot. Now I don't get lost. So, let's, I'm gonna turn right here. And that, I'm looking right there, is K4. That's where I just was. So now I'm gonna take this trail over here. I'm gonna walk a few hundred feet this way. Actually, they should have a scale of feet or something over there, because I'm really guessing about the distance, actually. Now there's a cave trip full of second graders around here. Hopefully, a field trip. Hopefully I'll be able to avoid them. <clears throat> Excuse me. They don't allow motor vehicles here, but I see motor vehicle tracks. That could be, you know, maintenance vehicles or people being suspicious. Notice how wide the trail is. We're in the city limits. This isn't a huge park, so they don't allow like motorized dirt biking. You could ride a pedal dirt bike around here. It'd be a lot of work, but if you're up to the challenge, it'd be kind of kind of fun. Okay, so this should be Cave Three, I think the map said. Have a look to the right here, make sure I don't miss anything. Wow, there's almost like a, let me pan down. Oops, I was scrolled the wrong way. It's almost like a trench here. I'm not sure if somebody dug this or if it's from erosion or what. Very strange. Weird. Seriously, it's almost like a sinkhole or something weird like that. I'm not sure what's up with that. Anyway. So the other part of the cave must be through here somewhere, but I don't see a way through, at least not for people. There could be a way through for small animals. There's obviously rabbits, lizards, and so on around here. Notice there's some fresh graffiti. There's all sorts of paint up there. That's messed up. Wish people wouldn't do that. But anyway, I'm gonna climb up here on the ground here, do a lap around the cave entrance. I like to do that just to see how big everything is. So yeah, wow, I'm probably 10 feet up from the ground below. There's the sign down there. I'm looking back towards the parking area. See there's some small shrubbery here, a few small trees. Be kind of generous to call it a forest, but I think it's technically true. So, ground's a bit uneven. You definitely want to watch where you're going. And there's the trail to the other cave and the other entrance. So I'm gonna work my way down here. It's still, I think, mid-morning, like maybe 9 a.m. So the lighting is pretty good for these entrances. Get a bit of natural light inside the cave. So from here, it almost looks like there's one entrance here and one entrance over there. But obviously what it really is, it formed as one entrance, but there's breakdown rock in between, partially blocking it. So, I'm gonna go ahead and, I'm planning to stick to the right to go counterclockwise. So I'll go ahead and go around this way. Okay, I got my flashlights ready, but I didn't put my gloves on yet. So let me find a graceful place to put my camera down. Now looking in, it looks like the ceiling here is only about four feet high. I won't be able to stand up at all like I was able to in the uh, cave four, which is a taller cave. But this one's longer, so this should be fun. All right, let's see if I can get in here without pulverizing my head or my camera. Got to climb over rocks. It's uneven. 
a bit more work. There's uh, animal droppings right there. I'm not an expert, some kind of rat, I would assume. So yeah, this is what I was saying, this is all one big entrance. It's a pile of breakdown rock right there. You could actually climb over that, you couldn't tell from the front. So now I'm gonna turn on the flashlights. I'll try to. This one flashlight's not behaving very well. One flashlight's not behaving. All right, here we go. I'm just so close to the entrance too. There's so much sunlight, it's hard to tell the difference. Oh, wow. Yeah, the ceiling's here close to eight feet tall, at least seven feet tall. Geez, look at all the vandalism though. It's like tons and tons of graffiti. Oops, let me adjust this camera here. Now look at this black, darn it, the flashlight's malfunctioning. Piece of junk made in China. All right, here we go. So there's this black gooey garbage. I'm not even sure if that actually formed with a cave or that's from animals or what. I haven't had the chance to ask anybody. But it seems to be in certain spots, like where there's a place to nest. So I'm wondering if it's like animal droppings that have gotten wet and fermented or something weird like that. But you notice the whole rock is black up there. I highly doubt that spray paint. That's gotta be something more interesting than just vandalism. Same up here, there's more of this black shiny garbage. Kinda looks gross, but I have a feeling it's supposed to be there. And look at all these roundness in the ceiling here. Again, in an erosion cave, I would say, oh, the wind or the water did that, but this isn't an erosion cave, it's a lava tube. So I don't know if that is from the sand eroding it or if that's actually from air bubbles when it formed or what. Wish I could talk to somebody who knows what's going on around here. More of this black slimy stuff. You notice it's like the same spot where there's animal droppings. That's why I think that black stuff might actually be related to animal droppings. So you notice how the cave is nice and wide, but it gets breakdown rocks in the way. Yeah, here's a lot more graffiti, but there's also more of this black stuff. Darn it, flashlight. There we are. The flashlight. It's too sensitive, so when I just carry it around, it keeps thinking I want to turn it off and on and off and on. It's being dumb. But yeah, that black stuff, I wouldn't be surprised if it was totally like melted animal droppings or something gross like that. So here we go. So after the breakdown, I'm standing up just fine, and I got plenty of room on top. There's got to be like nine foot ceiling here. The floor is filthy from, you know, just dirt. See if I can hold my camera up. Looks like there's a brown layer of dirt or something up there. More of that black stuff. Hmm. Oh, come on. This flashlight. Garbage. All right, there we go. Gotta babysit my equipment here. Looks like there's food or something and sticks. So I'm almost thinking an animal didn't carry it from way out over that other entrance. There might be a smaller entrance up here the animals can use. That's how all this stuff got down. I don't see any natural light, but then again, my flashlight's so bright, I probably couldn't see it if there was. Okay, interesting. 